when you have a headache, you're given several choices of drugs. They all have the same function, but they're different in that one is original and the others are copies of this original. These are called generic drugs. Um, so why are generic drugs such a controversial issue? The biggest problem of generic drugs is that they often infringe the intellectual property rights on medicines. The expense for research and development for new medicines is very high. Companies make up for these expenses through the profits they gain from the sales of their new drugs. However, the problem with generic drugs is that they reduce this kind of incentive. If as much profit could be produced, by selling simply the copies of drugs, why would companies want to bother putting so much expense in research and development of new medicines? To protect, uh, for further improvement of medicine, it is crucial to protect the intellectual property rights on these medicines. One way to protect these rights is through something called pharmaceutical patents. Patents are rights given to the original inventor to for for exclusive sales of producing and the sales of the, pr the product. These, these exclusive rights give profits, guarantee profits for the patented time to the inventor. These profits become the incentive for further innovation and research in the field. However, despite its advantages, pharmaceutical patents also face some oppositions, especially from the developing countries. Developing countries usually lack the technology and infrastructure to invent new drugs. Because of this, they have to rely on the imported patent drugs from the developed countries. However, they insist that pharmaceutical patents usually um, limit the distribution of these drugs because, of the, because uh, to only the wealthy areas that can afford the cost of these patented drugs. Then again, developed nations also have things to say to this. They say the reliance on generic drugs only fosters reliance on foreign aids rather than fostering the health care within the nations. Even in case of Korea, although generic drugs have been used as a way as to, to protect the domestic generic drugs industry rather than as a way to foster, the, foster fair aids to its people. Although Korea is very well advanced in the field in the industry of generic drugs, it is still lagging behind other developed nations in the field of medicinal technology. Japan, on the other hand, is an advanced nation in the medicinal field. As shown, the Japanese government spends a lot of its expenditure on healthcare and medical research. And also in global meetings, Japan has shown disapproval on generic drugs. And also, they have insisted on enforcement of pharmaceutical patents. With these efforts, they have gained advancement in the medical technology. In case of Brazil, although it is still a developing country, it has adopted patent law. And also through government subsidy, it has successfully distributed HIV AIDS medicines to its people free of charge. Through this government subsidy, they have gained both the fair distribution and the protection of intellectual property rights. This shows that the that, uh, problem of fair distribution can, can be solved in ways of government subsidy. The reason that the issue on patent, pharmaceutical patents is so controversial is because both sides have appropriate reasons for their views. However, we have to remember that we are living in a world of endless innovation and development. If there aren't proper incentives given, to, uh, given, then further development will not be possible. It is important to implement pharmaceutical patents to protect these incentives and intellectual property rights. Uh, problems of distribution can be solved in ways such as the government subsidies. Again, we have to rem remember that incentives are what drives development forward. Thank you. Thank you.